Hey Dell, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. I'm helping to answer some questions for you. You had put together uh, for me here in an email. Um, this is the second video in some uh, insights and ideas that I had thought about that could uh, hopefully be of help and of service for you and help you get things sorted out. Once again, I'm not a lawyer. I am not a psychologist. That's just the little uh, disclaimer clause here. I do not provide legal advice. I do not provide uh, psychoanalysis or you know psychological diagnostics. Um, as I mentioned, I have my bachelor's degree. I have 10 years experience in social services, um, experience in insurance, new product development, and um, you know I have knowledge of and experience of uh, people and relationships. Um, that are tumultuous in nature and so basically I provide that sort of service and forum um, in YouTube and for myself I would not have been able to heal um, to the degree that I have if I had not had access to forums um, such as you know I have here on uh, YouTube or online I absolutely positively would not have been able to heal and get it sorted out um, it is very devastating um, to deal with people who are narcissistic manipulative uh, pathological liars, people who exploit others, people who take advantage, people who have uh, low morals, who are very, you know, uh, you know, have quite a bit of accusation, uh, false accusation against people, um, and you know, create a, a real sort of hysteria and chaos. I definitely feel for you, and uh, I hopefully can provide you some insights and tools to gain a better knowledge of what's going on, and just some good avenues for you to utilize. So you feel a little bit better and once again um, I would not have been able to heal myself and get through things had it not been for forums uh, such as YouTube and uh, blogs and things of that nature I mean it's absolutely a great community to be able to find people online who can assist you and just give you some tips and insights so that's my main goal here and so you had mentioned you know you're like well what is you know are these people capable of you know is she a narcissist is she a psychopath again um, I would say let that not be, you know, your main concern right now. Just come to an understanding of that sort of disorder um, and itself, and know that, you know, um, you know, basically, past behavior is a good indicator of future performance. So, you know, in other words, if she has done this in the past and you're feeling, you know, threatened that, you know, she's going to continue with these things, and your father you know these types of allegations and things and your father has made steps such as you know changing the locks I mean that's you know it, it shows that you know some obviously some protection needs to go up in place and you know we definitely recommend that you um, you know uh, get yourself feeling uh, at a better quality of life uh, for both you and your father that is what it's all about he's got caregivers there um, you know, and it's all about quality of life as one gets older. And if you're feeling unsafe, if you're feeling, you know, um, threatened, then you definitely need to take steps to correct that and um, work towards feeling safer, secure in your environment, um, especially with your father who, and I'm glad you have not confided any health information. I don't need his health information. But the fact that he has caregivers, you know, um, you need to be protective of people as they get older um, obviously and so um, you know you basically in his uh, caregiver situation you're a mandated reporter basically and a mandated reporter just means Dell that if you were to witness if you were to observe any sort of um, elder abuse physical emotional financial as a mandated reporter you're under obligation to report and um, you know basically if you are his certified caregiver or I'm not sure what your status is but any caregiver is what they call a mandated reporter which means they're required by law to report this to the authorities so I would definitely recommend um, you doing that and you know you need to report that to um, I think it's the Department of Justice they have a form there there's a phone number for your county in the state of Illinois um, would definitely recommend that you do that um, and so if there's any legal protection to you um, you can make a veil of it but it's very important for you to do so it doesn't come back 
and say, well, why didn't you report this? <laughs> if this was, you know, um, elder abuse, you know, why didn't you report this to us? So rather than, you know, you calling HR or you calling, you know, Department of, um, you know, uh, her professional services, you know, um, and reporting her, I would definitely uh, seek a lawyer counsel because generally they're going to be the ones to contact those entities on your behalf. So it'll have a little bit more weight and a little bit more cloud for you. It'll also keep things above board and legal for you. Um, and, you know, they can do things like um, pull records, they can pull phone calls, they can subpoena uh, financial records, they can subpoena phone calls. Subpoena basically just means, you know, they can pull those records. So if she has siphoned uh, money, you know, I mean, that is the sad thing oftentimes is that, you know, people can siphon money from different organizations or family funds. And you had mentioned that she's been disinherited. Um, and that's, you know, if that is the case, then that's for a valid reason. But if you do have legal representation and there's cause for um, that financial elder abuse and you're seeking retribution, protection in the future, a lawyer is going to be able to set up those um, boundaries and that sort of documentation so that you will not have to be worried of her future impingement upon you or your father. Um, and it's very evidential based, so generally these sort of people will be required to back down. So it'll take the threat off of your shoulders and put it more on the legal system. Um, some other ideas, so uh, you know, definitely would would be doing that. Um, and you know, and uh, you know, please feel free to give me your feedback and how you feel about that. I know it's not fun. Maybe it's not comfortable for you. But I think you'll find that a good resource if you can talk to somebody about this. Um, so definitely do a, a search for a, um, you know, and it's up to you. I mean, you can handle everything on your own, but just, you know, hearing your story, I think that would help you get it sorted out. Um, other things that you can do, and this is some of my insight and advice um, that I, just as a uh, knowledgeable person I can provide to you. Um, you know that this will show her that you're meaning business and you're not trying to handle this on your own, that you're using a, a good solid inter interdisciplinary team around you. Um, there's a B. Um, other things you can do to help you feel safe. Um, one, you know, um, there are things like, um, you know, and you can take advantage of these or all of them or none of them, it's totally up to you. But this is uh, sometimes what people will do, Dell. Um, there's security cameras that you can get placed on the property. So if you fear that she is approaching the property when you're not there or your father's not there, et cetera, you know, um, you can get securities, um, security cameras set up. So if there was ever any question, you've got things on camera. Um, it'll give you peace of mind, if nothing else. Um, also, uh, you know, in terms of enacting penalties, you know, things of that nature, um, you know, for elder abuse, it does always help if there's evidence so if they subpoena things like records, videotapes, it's just evidential based and it's just something that you can do. And not something to go crazy or feel fearful about, Dell, but it's just something that a lot of families will, will do in that situation. Um, if they're dealing with kind of a, uh, an extreme personality or, you know, extreme person in their uh, family. Um, also, you know, if you fear that, um, you know, things are going on at that clinic, I would definitely um, advise you speak to somebody about that, especially if there's a HIPAA violation. Um, there's codes and penalties that can be enacted if that indeed has occurred. Um, she should not be getting people to lie. Uh, that is very serious, very serious whatsoever. So in terms of filing a police report, Del, um, you know, the police, I mean, uh, if your lawyer advises you of that, you can go and just, you know, speak with your um, local police office and see what they advise, what kind of counsel that they can provide you. I would, you know, I would definitely seek any sort of professional and interdisciplinary team that you can in your area. You know, one thing you can do, um, you know, the police will, you know, be very kind if you want to tell them to please, you know, step up the patrol in your area. You can let them know that, you know, that if such and such has happened or this and this person or this and this vehicle, you know, this is what they drive and to just please, you know, put a little patrol in your area so they can keep an advanced lookout. Um, and I know people have done that too. 
if they fear their family member is, you know, going to violate or uh, vandalize things of that nature so that there's, you know, the police department has been advised a heads up, if you will, you know, that this and this is going on. Um, so that can provide you some added security and peace of mind. Um, and, you know, so you have, you're not living in fear and you have some intercession on your behalf. Um, some other ideas here is if, you're, if your sister has been un disinherited and, you know, if she's calling, you can definitely have her calls blocked from your uh, phone, you know, from your phone provider. Um, and if she is calling and making accusations and things like that over the phone, um, you can also uh, download on your phone in a free app, which is called uh, Call Recorder. C-A-L-L, -L, second word recorder, R-E-C-O-R-D-E-R. -E -E it is an app, it is a free app, Del, that you can download onto your phone and it will automatically record your phone calls. So if she is calling and making some accusations that are false in nature, or you've got people who are calling you who are lying, etc., um, you can use this as, a, as a, a resource to you. You can record the phone calls. Um, you can have it there as evidential based, um, if that would help you or serve you. Um, also, um, you know, in, in terms of having a lawyer uh, you know who can take uh, you know who can take testimony and things of that nature from these care workers if she has gotten them to lie on your behalf that is no good um, I would definitely then recommend you speak with your um, agency and if these caregivers are kind of tainted or you know working on your sister's behalf you know speak with the agency and let them know that maybe that this has gone on and you know if you can bring in some new caregivers who aren't tainted who aren't kind of caught up in that family trouble that could be advised for you again consult with them there consult with a good elder abuse attorney who can provide you real legal and uh, direction there um, and um, you know you can also put her phone number you can see about putting it on the do not contact list so if she was to be in violation you know, there can be uh, penalties and things of that nature if she were to violate um, your phone numbers being put on the do not contact list. So there's, um, you know, things, and that's generally meant for telemarketers, but I believe, Dell, you can look into it in your area, the FTC, federal, uh, um, once you get placed on the do not call list, uh, there's an entity, I think it's called the FTC, that you can contact to do that for you. Um, and that prevents a fine, um, but it, you know, to her in terms of helping you feel secure so that there's some boundaries in place for you. Um, you can also, you know, as I recommend, I know it's a dark time, it can be a serious time. As my advice is a little bit organic, I do believe in love and forgiveness and healing. So if things are a family issue and you are a, a church goer or a religious person at all, I would definitely contact your local church and have a mass said for her. You know, I would have a mass said for your family and some additional prayers stepped up because prayer is a powerful thing and it can bring a lot of healing energy to you as well. Um, seems a little esoteric, but sometimes, you know, you need to do some real proactive things to really help make things right on a grand scheme, a larger scheme of things. Um, and let's see here um and i mentioned you know contacting your local police see if they can put a step up a watch in your area if you feel like you have a disgruntled family member um, and they're generally very happy to do this definitely get a, an estate attorney uh Del, if you haven't already a financial advisor and or a state attorney who can help get the financials in order so they can provide you some great counsel and direction so you've got things documented and legally protected on your behalf. Um, and you can also talk to a local senior center, Dell. Um, they have different counsel and resources there. And you can take additional classes for yourself, um, receive continuing education as a certified caregiver if you're not a certified caregiver in the state of California already. I do believe they have certified caregiver and you can 
you know, receive um, continuing education classes. So I would definitely recommend contacting either your local senior center or a local college to see if there's any sort of uh, classes or certification you, beca you can become enrolled in. I'm going to continue this on a third video. I'll see you on the next episode, Dell.